Hi, everybody. Quint Lears in Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm here with the national award winner for the Sales and Marketing Council, one to watch, Anya Chrysanthemum. Thank you so much, Quint. I am so excited for this. It's been a long time coming. You and I have been talking so long, and I feel like you've been my biggest cheerleader. And of course, you missed your thank you on stage. Do this know this ain't about me, cameraman. Get it over. <laughs> Focus on like this is your show, okay? People don't know Anya. Let me. Well, actually, a lot of people know. A lot of people know you, okay? You're making a big impact um, on the front lines. You you sell. You're a mom, you're, you have puppies, you have a, a national uh, podcast, you're involved with the Women in Home Building, the, na you know, the National Sales and Marketing Council. Um, tell me about the One to Watch Award. So the One to Watch Award is just an honor for me, especially being a rookie in the industry. I felt like, um, you know, I started this podcast. I didn't know if anybody would listen, but I knew that the voice, the female voice needed to be represented. And I just feel so grateful that the building industry has embraced me. And thanks to people like you, Kim Mackey and... Um, Chris Hardley, that you guys just been the biggest cheerleaders for me and keep me going and um, I just want to show what's possible and all the girls out there who are dreaming for bigger things for themselves, you know, I just want you to go out there and really go get it. Okay, now we're not done, okay? <laughs> the, the one to watch award, okay? Um, I went for this last year, didn't even make it. You freaking crushed it. No, I don't, let, 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 let's talk about this. Innovation, giving back, leadership, education I mean on and on it's a big deal um, tell me let's talk about let's talk about each one giving back you're involved with some programs um, helping a friend tell me about that program and what it meant to you to be a part of that yeah so it's actually one of our fellow salespeople her daughter tragically passed away um, from cancer so she had a brain tumor and um, if you look at the amount of money that's being spent on childhood cancer it's non-existent so we've all rallied around that cause and really trying to deliver um, as many toys as possible to children who are currently staying in the hospitals and you wouldn't think that a toy makes a difference but it's that one thing that can make them smile and forget about whatever they're going through for that next half an hour an hour and it just makes such a big difference Education. So, I mean, the, the feedback I have is like, okay, there's this girl, Anya, and she's just taking page after page after page. So you go to these conferences, the PCBC or wherever you're going, and you take copious notes and you bring it back and you share it with the world through your platform. We're going to talk about it in a little bit. But uh, tell, me about the, tell me about what you do, how you're hungry and thirsty to learn. So if you look at my phone, you'll see that I have so many audiobooks on it, podcasts. So I feel that you know, in order for you to get better, you have to learn. And once you learn, you have to implement. So always trying to figure out what are the new ideas, what can I learn? And, you know, instead of listening to radio, whenever I'm driving in the shower or whatever, I'm always listening to something that feeds my brain and can get me better. So I definitely pride myself in that. So whether it's taking online courses, audiobooks, you can always do something to really get better. And um, getting yourself better is the key to success. I truly believe that. But what you, there are a lot of people doing that, but not a lot of people come back and say, okay, here are the top 100 things I learned at the um, Pacific Building Conference. Yeah, so it, I, I think it's important to be involved, and I think that's one of the ways that I do get involved is through conferences and meeting people like you and um, seeing what's out there, what's possible, and uh, really listening to the sessions from people who've been there, done that, and implementing it. So I always try to pass it on to uh, my listeners to see what they can learn from the experiences. And at the end of the day, like you say, if we're not selling homes... Nobody is. Do, nobody else is doing anything. Right? Uh, AnyaChrysanthemum.com, and you have a the new construction marketing podcast. How did that start? Tell me what that's meant to you, and and what it's uh, what's what it's all about. So I started the new construction marketing podcast because I was driving in the car from model to model home and I was looking for a podcast and I couldn't find that voice. I couldn't find that female voice. I couldn't find somebody who was selling and sharing the best ideas and practices to help us get more sales. So I decided, well, if it's not out there, let me go ahead and start it. Right. So that was the idea. And um, I just did it. And um, 
like I said, thanks to people like you and Chris and Kim that you guys kept me going. You're encouraging and um, going to this conference has really helps me line up my future guests. That's how I meet people and that's definitely the best way to get involved and I definitely recommend you guys do the same thing. And to be, on, be honest, I think that you are a better interviewer than I am. But let's be fair, I'm trying to catch people like on the way, on the way to the I bathroom. And, like, I'm trying to catch them like, come over here. But you've got like, you're, you're, you're patient, you're, you, you're, you're like relentless in, in extracting information. And I think I, I really, tell me about Pinterest. So Pinterest is just a great marketing tool. A lot of people don't think of it. People think of uh, Pinterest as just a place you go searching for pictures. But um, Pinterest is actually one of the biggest search engines out there. So it's a great tool, especially for home builders, because if you um, can, you know, it, it, picture's worth a thousand words, right? We all know that, especially in home building. We have so many beautiful, gorgeous homes. So you can use that. Um, just think about it again. With every single image you're posting to Pinterest, think about what your ideal customer is searching for. Because when they're typing that in, that's going to come up in a search engine and actually going to rank a lot better than your own website would. So it's a great marketing tool. And if you guys are not familiar with Pinterest, I definitely recommend you get familiar with it. Let's. I, I want to bring uh, Kimberly back here in a second. But uh, uh, real quick, a lot of people, and come on down here, come here. A lot of people, I want, to, I, want to, I want to talk real quick. A lot of people don't know about Anya is that uh, you're from Russia. By the way, this is the most uh, competitive uh, award ceremony in the country right now. But you're from Russia and you've been through, uh, you know, the highs, the lows. You've been through hard times. Uh, tell me about that. So I think it's definitely shaped who I am as an adult moving from Russia because um, you know, I I know what it's like to be hungry. Like, you know, um, actually hungry. We're not. We talk hungry. about sales. Yeah, you know, I'm hungry. You were actually. I remember this talk I'm where you were like, hungry. they're like, I'm eating a chicken. Like, you had a bad day or something, but like, yeah. I had a chicken. No, it's crazy. Actually, speaking of the chicken story, um, I remember uh, it was my brother's birthday, and we had chicken, and I remember being excited about eating chicken, and it's like, I had chicken today for lunch. You know, for dinner. So. Um, so I think it's all a matter of perspective, and sometimes you just need to shift your perspective to realize how good we have it and how lucky we are. Well, Kimberly Mackey, you've been uh, friends. What does it mean? I'm going to hand you a microphone. You take over. I'm just so excited for her. I mean, when, when this beautiful lady contacted me, she actually kind of stalked me a little bit <laughs> to, to join her podcast. I was so blown away and became an instant fan, as I am of Quince. And I, yeah, I connected the two of them, and they did their, their thing, which was an amazing podcast. And if, you, if you're not listening to her podcast, I encourage you to do so. She reaches out. She finds the most interesting people. I'm learning about people in this industry and things that I never knew in the industry just by listening to her. So I'm so impressed with what you're doing. And this is it's so exciting. Okay, okay. What's next? Okay, because we talk about the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You're already kind of at the, like, the, the self-actualization part, right? Self-actualization. So, oh. so <laughs> where, where, how far does this rabbit hole go for you? Oh, my goodness. I think there is no limit. You know, when I think about this industry and how lucky I've been so far and how grateful I feel for being embraced by the industry, the sky's the limit. So, Listen, your team's proud of you. Uh, tell me about um, uh, your any shout-outs uh, that you would like to do, any on your team, anybody? Well, like I said, you did have, you, you got your shout out that you missed <laughs> the big stage. So, um, of course, Quint, I feel like you've been such a giver. You've just been such a supporter. My biggest cheerleader, I appreciate it. Of course, Kimberly and Chris Hartley, Abby Murata, Will Dudersad, there are so many out there that um, were you know, willing to be on my show and willing to promote it and willing to um, just give, give, give. And, um, you know, you never know when you say yes to somebody uh, what doors it can open, not only for them, but also for you. So I would encourage everyone to, you know, sometimes step outside of your comfort zone. And if you're not sure about it, just just do it. Right. One of the things I love um, when you go to conferences like this is to see who goes to conferences like this and to connect with the people that go to conferences like this, right? And you're dealing with some of the best people in the country. Do you have any last shout outs? 
So I'm just, I'm proud of both of you. I mean, what you're doing, you're doing these interviews here tonight. I mean, both of you are truly the future of this industry and we need more people like you. So if you, if you want to be cool and join the cool kids group, yeah, come, come join these two because it's just incredible. Hey, um, you got to check out Kimberly's video. It's going viral, by the way. It's doing really good. Thanks so much for being here at the 2019 Nationals and Caesars Palace. It's been an awesome show, and congratulations. Thank you. Visit thenationals.com.